Now we will discuss certain new updates regarding sepsis. The first update is the SOFA score. Now, what is SOFA score? SOFA, that is the Sequential Organ Failure Assessment Score, is a scoring system that assesses the performance of several organ systems in the body and assigns a score based on the data obtained in each category. The higher the SOFA score, the higher the mortality. So we will take a specific organ system and a specific measurement. Okay. In SOFA, we use first respiratory system where we use PF ratio that is PaO2 divided by FiO2 in MF of Hg. Second, nervous system where we use Glasgow Coma Scale. Third, cardiovascular system where we use mean arterial pressure or administration of vasopressor required. Fourth, liver where we use bilirubin. Fifth, coagulation profile where we use platelets. Sixth, renal system where we use creatinine and urine output. And the score will be given from 0 to 4. Now, a patient whose PF ratio is more than 400, Glasgow Coma score 15, mean arterial pressure more than 70 mm of Hg, bilirubin is less than 1.2, platelet count is more than 150,000 and creatinine is less than 1.2. Then, SOFA score will be 0. If that patient has PF ratio less than 400, GCS score 13 to 14, mean arterial pressure less than 70 mm of Hg, bilirubin 1.2 to 1.9, platelets count less than 1,50,000 and creatinine is 1.2 to 1.9. Then SOFA score will be 1. If PF ratio is less than 300, GCS score 10 to 12 and patient is on dopamine which is less than 5 microgram per kg per minute or dobutamine at any dose. Bilirubin is 2 to 5.9. Platelets count is less than 1 leg and creatinine is 2 to 3.4 or will be 2. Now, if PF ratio is less than 200 with respiratory support, GCS is 6 to 9. Patient is on dopamine more than 5 microgram per kg per minute or epinephrine less than or equal to 0.1 microgram per kg per minute or norepinephrine less than or equal to 0.1 microgram per kg per minute. And bilirubin is 6 to 11.9. Platelet count less than 50,000. And creatinine is 3.5 to 4.9. And urine output is less than 500 ml per day. Then SOFA score will be 3. Now, in the last, if PF ratio is less than 100 with respiratory support, GCS score less than 6, dopamine is more than 15 microgram per kg per minute, epinephrine more than 0.1 microgram per kg per minute or norepinephrine more than 0.1 microgram per kg per minute. And bilirubin is more than 12, platelet count less than 20,000 and creatinine is more than 5 with urine output less than 200 ml per day. Then SOFA score will be 4. This table is all about SOFA score. Now, in 2016, a new guideline was released that is sepsis 3.0. These are the latest guidelines. So according to these guidelines, what is sepsis? Sepsis is life-threatening organ dysfunction due to a dysregulated host response to infection. The clinical criteria for sepsis. According to sepsis 3.0, organ dysfunction is defined as an increase of two points or more in the sequential organ failure assessment score. For patients with infections, an increase of two SOFA points gives an overall mortality rate of 10%. Now, let's discuss about Q-SOFI score. See, Q-SOFI score is released because the SOFI score has a lot of parameters. But in Q-SOFI score, we will see only hat. Okay, the parameters are hypotension, 
altered mental status and tachypnea in hypotension systolic blood pressure is less than or equal to 100 mm of hg altered mental status any gcs less than 15 and tachypnea rr greater than or equal to 22 and it is important because patients with suspected infection who are likely to have a prolonged icu stay or to die in the hospital can be promptly identified at the bedside with q sofi score okay that is two or more of that parameters of q sofi score will give a alarm next is septic show according to sepsis 3.2 it is a subset of sepsis in which underlying circulatory and cellular or metabolic abnormalities are profound enough to substantially increase mortality okay so septic show clinical criteria is sepsis and despite adequate volume resuscitation both of persistent hypotension requiring vasopressor to maintain mean arterial pressure greater than or equal to 65 mm of hg and lactate greater than or equal to 2 millimol per liter okay with these criteria hospital mortality is in excess of 40% now one thing is to remember the term severe sepsis is no longer in use now what are the goals we need to achieve in a patient with sepsis who is undergoing resuscitation we need to get a cvp of 8 to 12 mm of mercury and mean arterial pressure of more than or equal to 65 mm of mercury urine output of more than equal to 0.5 ml per kg per hour and mvos mixed venous oxygen saturation in sepsis should be kept between 65 to 70 also we need to normalize the lactate now let's come to management now if you have a patient with septic show the first line intervention that we will do is to give crystalloids yes the first line crystalloids that would be recommended for septic shock is normal saline initially we will do volume resuscitation but subsequently if patient is not responding to volume resuscitation we will be using vasopressors and which is the preferred vasopressor the preferred vasopressor should be answered as norepinephrine one of the main advantage of norepinephrine would be that it also helps in maintenance of coronary blood flow and that assure the heart is able to maintain the perfusion now yes we will start antibiotics any patient with sepsis we have to start antibiotic the empirical broad spectrum antibiotic within the first hour 